Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be doing a 12 by 12 layout using our mini kit Monday kit for the month of February 2022. The kit was a mega kit so I'm trying to just use that kit all month long. Um, we might throw a couple things in here and there. So you can see right here we are going to be starting with this gorgeous banner paper as our background. Look at that zip strip on it. It is so cute. That will come into play a little bit later on. Um, we're going to be using that. We are going to be using the Sawyer collection. So the banner background is Sawyer. This piece right here is Sawyer as well, but we're going to use... We're going to use that piece. We're going to use the front side and the back side of it. So we end up with that gorgeous blue, which that is my favorite paper in this, the Sawyer collection. And then we're going to use the mint on, that is on the reverse side of it. I will be inking the edges of everything with the uh, sapphire um, ink from close to my heart. Uh, I really wasn't sure about, usually I'll do the brown, a brown like an espresso or a mocha or a gray like a charcoal or a heather, but in this case with that blue, I decided to go ahead with the sapphire. It's not super navy, it's not as dark as the harbor, which I think might be, that could be sapphire, I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be as dark as that blue paper, but it still works pretty well. I do pull out the Wisteria cardstock right here. That's what I'm going to use to map my photos on. These are photos of Riley and Riker, and they had stayed the night, and for breakfast we had chocolate cake. Um, I am going to call this layout, no rules, because there are no rules at Granny's house. Um, we are just going to put a little bit of a map uh, around those photos and ink the edges with the sapphire ink on those as well. Now you can see I am doing a, a scrap lift up, uh, a scrap lift of myself. It's in the top left hand corner of your screen. It is a Sailor Girl layout originally of Riley. I think that this um, layout that we're making right now will be a good one for a new series type deal that I'm doing. I am going to be calling it Evolution of a Page, I think is what we're going to call it. And I already have one set. I will explain more about that to you um, coming up later in a different video. But I already have one set, but I think this will also be a great um, piece to be scrap lifting as well. So we might use this. Uh, these purple letters are from the hip kit club. We are going to use that for our title. And like I said, our title is no rules. I don't know what kit this came out with, with the hip kit, but I do love the purple. There's a lot of purple, um, in collections at right now at this current point in time. So I really love having these purple, purple alphas. They came from the hip kit club, but they actually look really nice with the Sawyer collection. The Sawyer collection doesn't really even have that tone of purple in it, but it still looks really nice um, with the purples that are in this collection. See right here. I like right here, this pink paper it is really cute. That one is not from the Sawyer collection. This one is from that paper pad that I put in the mini kit Monday kit. It was like a go girl or something about girls, girl power or something, something. But that was from that. Uh, so we used the pink side, but that is, does look like the ballerina. That does look like the ballerina pink that is in the close to my heart's line of colors. Really pretty. All right. So we are trying to stay a little bit close to the scrap lift. You can see in the original, we did have a cocked photo, which is really, really cute. We did do some stenciling on this new one we have here on the new layout because we have all those banners in the background. The stenciling was not going to work on this one. So we go ahead and drop that um, because it just wasn't what wasn't going to work. You can see I am trying to mimic this cluster up here on that. I do have this really cute piece that I pull out. It says, yay. It is sitting up there in that cluster right, right at the top. I have had to have that piece for years. It came in a freckled fawn. Remember when they had like the D stash, not D stash. Um, they would have like the cells, uh, warehouse cell, I guess, or something like that. I got that in one of those. And on here, look, I am even trying to use those purple flourishes 
that I were just laying on my desk. I don't remember how those came about, but they came about somehow and they are ugly. I am not really into the flourishes, but I am trying to use it on this page. You can see where I'm pull, trying to pull in more of the purple. What I end up doing is not that at all, but we are going to play with it a little bit. I did find this picture my life card right there for the journaling down at the bottom. It is a note card. And then I also found this one that has this banner on it. And we're going to right here. We're going to go ahead and fussy cut this out of that card. Well, what I do is I just freshen it up a little bit. I just put a couple more banner pieces right here at the bottom of it just to kind of give it a little something extra. I actually cut this piece away from here, added those, and then just lowered it down over it. And then, you know, cut it up at the top. It is popped up on some foam tape. I love how that came out. It's really cute. So I end up getting rid of all those, well, most of those purple die cuts that were cut out of a piece of cardstock. I do end up just keeping one tag on this one. So I get, anyways, I get rid of those and I pull in the Sawyer chipboard pieces to go ahead and put down around the page. Um, we're also going to, we're also going to be pulling out some stickers from the, sticker sheet. Now right here is where that zip strip came back in. I'm going to be cutting it into strips. Um, on that banner or on that piece, the banner, what is that? An award piece? I don't know. It says love on it. We did use part of the zip strip to make those new pieces going down. We're going to go ahead and use that same zip strip. I told you it'd come in. I love it. We're going to use it as a piece right up here at the top which is what we're working on now. And then we're going to put some right here. And of course we have some right here. So that's really cute. I love how that came out. Here is where I said we were going to be pulling in some of the stickers. There's two banner stickers. There's a striped one and this one right here. We go ahead and just make it like in a little embellishment piece. You can see us making it down there at the bottom. Here is the tag. Layer that up together and then put that colorful zip strip piece on top. Voila. That's like a our pre-made embellishment for this uh, layout. Then we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on it and stick it down. We will be using some pink and white twine though. So that's fun. Bam. Now you can see on that note card, you can see that blue smudge down at the bottom. I kind of went a little overboard with the sapphire ink admittedly. So we are going to have to cover that up. I will pull back in this yay piece and cover that smudge up. So see, if you make a mistake, you can always find a way to uh, make it not a mistake. Make it a, I did that on purpose type of deal. That is popped up on some foam tape. So I am going to go around with these chipboard pieces that are from the Sawyer collection. I ended up pulling out a couple stickers. They're not, I'm not going to keep those. I pull out a lot of the chipboard hearts. They're peaches and mints. And there's some of that blue, I think is Harbor. Looks really cute. Um, I do scatter those all around the page. Here we got a peach one and we have a two-toned peach and mint. There's that one. Um, wisteria colors. Yes, they came with a lot of, didn't come with. The die cut section or the die cut um, item came with a lot of hearts, which I absolutely love. Really, really cute. So we're going to go ahead and put those down around the page. Here's where that yay is covering up that smudge. Now a lot of those hearts will be popped up on some foam tape. After we get all those hearts put down, we're going to go ahead and finish off with the Dina Wakely um, Gloss Spray in Night. It's a very nice deep blue. Oh, look, it's like almost the same color as my headband. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and finish off with that and some close-up pictures. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I will try to have some links down below. If you would like to support my channel, please go to Becky Bidding. Hi! <laughs> dot closermyheart.com and pick yourself something up. Remember to um, hop over to the other ladies' channels that are doing Mini Kit Monday, which would be Kathy and Dolly. I'll have them linked down below as well. I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.